hello, hello. Thank you so much for joining us. This is Coach Gio Adri Giovinelli in this wonderful Mindful Monday. Another, for, another beautiful Monday to enjoy. It was a holiday here in the United States, so uh, we still we work, right? Still we work all the time, but uh, we are here to, to celebrate, to celebrate the legacy of Martin Luther King Jr. And uh, reading about him and knowing about him and what the, the awesome person he was to begin with. Not just, we always celebrate what the person has done, or what the person, you know, all the speech that he gave and all that. But let's go back to the person that he was, the person that started everything, the, 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 the human being that started everything. I guarantee you, I, you know, I don't know if I'm going too much over there, I'm guaranteeing that he worked on himself first to be able to deliver so much love, so much care, so much wisdom, so much, so much motivation, inspiration to so many people that yes, he left his legacy with us. And uh, going back to the core of uh, everything that he left to us to enjoy, to celebrate and uh, to really learn from, it was from, from himself. And uh, I can just imagine all the things that, uh, how he worked within himself to be able to get to that point. So what about, it was reading some of the, his quotes, which all of them are just amazing and they mean so much, but one struck me, one struck me in a particular way. And it reads like this, I'm gonna quote him. Everybody can be great. You only need a heart full of grace. So going back again, right? everything starts from us greatness is not just to have uh, the palace it's not to have not to have the possessions greatness is not to to have awards you can put your greatness you can set up right there what is my greatness what i want to accomplish but the start from who we are we cannot accomplish absolutely anything if it's the tiniest little thing all the biggest things in the world the biggest accomplishments and part of that quote, it said in the full quote, it said, you don't need a college degree, you don't need to win awards, you don't need to do super things that uh, the people will recognize you all yourself. And through his, through his legacy, uh, like I put it on my description, on our life, is we're going to celebrate his truth, the unity, the freedom, the peace. And all those things comes from within. So as much as we always say, you know, as a community, we have to be this, as a whole community, we have to do that. Let's, what about we start from within us? That's where everything starts. Let's start with truth. I have always, many times I have talked about living the truth, living in truth, right? Living in, in, in the truth of who you are and in the goodness, right? In the goodness from within. We are good. We are here to be good, we're here. To, we're good. We're goodness. We're we're here in, in this world to create goodness. So start from your truth. Later, then after that, unity. We're talking about unity. Unity with myself. Unity by loving myself as well. Unity with my mind, mind body, and spirit. Unity that rather is the Trinity within yourself. The unity that you are uh, able to bring together within yourself within you, what you think, how you nurture your mind, body, and soul. After that, we see the freedom. The moment that you live in your truth, the moment that you live in unity with who you are, and your mind, and your physical body, and your spiritual being, then comes the freedom. That gives you a amazing freedom in your life, in the way that you will live your life. No uh, under the cultural conditioning. Obviously, we have to follow the rules, we have to obey the rules, the social rules, so we can live in community and we can be happy and not have uh, <laughs> problems. But you can live with such a freedom that you are not gonna be a slave of, your, of so much cultural conditioning that we are affected by nowadays. Think about that a little bit, right? After that, I'll be talking about freedom. What all these things brings me brings us as a community, but it specifically brings you, is peace. You live in your truth. You bring in unity with yourself. You 
understand yourself, you know where you're coming from, and you know that you're in truth, you live in truth, gives you freedom. Freedom to go out there in the world, to be the best person, the best being we can ever be, no matter if it is with the little tiny details. My purpose in life is to be the greatest I can be every single day, even if the tiniest things that I do during the day. We're not gonna change the world, just me, you know, out there changing everyone. That is not my purpose. It's I have to work on myself first, and then every single person that I encounter, every single experience that I encounter, then I put in my legacy. I feel so rewarded, I feel so blessed when I work with my clients, and I get to put a little bit of knowledge, a little bit of uh, planting that seed of love in them, uh, planting that seed of freedom, planting that seed of wellness, of health and fitness. When I work with the kids, oh my goodness, it's such a wonderful thing to do. And that is, that is my greatness <laughs> right there, is to be able to bring the extra love, to be able to bring the extra compassion, to be able to bring that extra wisdom, because we all have wisdom within us. Either we want to accept it or not, or we want to use it or not, we have it, and we have the potential to be great. And uh, it's such a uplifting, uh, let's say, concept that we can put in practice and we can make it happen. So think about it. Take a moment to find your greatness. What is? What are your goals? What do you want to do? It can be big things, can be little, can be just within your family. It starts with yourself and then translate in your family life. And then we become to the outside world. But uh, freedom, freedom brings you peace. And that is priceless. Nobody, there's no possessions in the world that can give you peace. Just it is it's in within yourself. So let's celebrate today with uh, happy hearts, thankful hearts, thinking about how we can improve. No pointing fingers at each other, no no projected on to the what the others are doing but how i how you can become the greatest thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you guys we did a little bit of a live earlier with my husband we stretch a little bit hope you enjoy you guys enjoy that as well and uh happy happy mindful monday take care bye bye